This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, Strong Arm from the Robots in Disguise 2015, the sequel series of Transformers Prime. And uh, I, she's probably the only character I found interesting in that show. Like I didn't even finish watching it. Um, I did finish the, like the whole first season and I think her and the relationship she had with Sideswipe was uh, kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so I really wanted to pick uh, that one up. And uh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I'm using a new recording technique. So I don't know if this image right now is gonna be clear or not, or if the sound is gonna work properly. But uh, let me know in the comment if you found it any different from the previous videos I've done. And before I move on with the review, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store where at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Alright, first things first, uh, the instructions, um, you know, if you have uh, the uh, Legacy Alita one, uh, you're good. Uh, this is funny though, they tell you, show you how to install this, but it came plugged in, in the box. And this is, you might hear some noise from time to time, because it's quite no noisy in my house today. My kid is full of energy and I'm trying to get this review done, and anyway, so you might hear some footsteps. Uh, standard uh, Legacy Evolution or, you know, War for Cybertron inspired uh, instruction. It might be before that. So, yeah, if you have Elita 1, you're good. Uh, the box, I, I like this. Looks good. Uh, character is well explained. You have a fantastic uh, display of what you can do and especially Evo Fusion, which on this one, completely unnecessary. Um, I thought the old gimmick of Evo Fusion was to have your gun hidden perfectly in alt mode. Like Beachcomber, the gun is part of the bumper, uh, you know, uh, Crankcase, uh, the gun is part of the bumper in front as well, you know, so they're trying to, you know, hide the gun uh, on the alt mode. This doesn't work at all. Uh, the gun, translucent. I thought they were moving away from that, but I'm guessing they don't now. Uh, it looks it looks super plain, honestly. There's barely any details. I mean, you can tell it's a gun. Maybe it's cartoon accurate. I can't recall. Stop! And the robot itself. Love the paint scheme. Uh, white blue with the yellow highlights. Uh, looks really good. Uh, clear blue eyes, uh, the lips painted properly uh, with the whole blue line around the face looks really good. Big uh, shoulder pads, uh, looks good. She's a good representation of this character. Uh, I know a lot of people are not of that opinion. Uh, she could have been bigger, but I honestly think that they did a good job uh, with the alt mode as well. So anyway, sorry, had to cut a flushing toilet. You know, that happens all the time when I'm doing reviews. So I like the uh, the blue and the white on the, foot, the, the the legs. The foot are ugly as hell. You know, they're the nice, you know, black plastic, but it's it's not good. It wasn't good on Elita. It's not good on this one. Uh, the arms are painted nicely and big kibble in the back, but it's not too bad. Um, articulation, you have a rotation at the head, but the chin is kind of pronounced, so, and then with the kibble, you can't really rotate it all the way back, uh, but without that, it would do it. Uh, you do have your Ferris wheel at the arms, but it's kind of hard to do because everything gets in the way, uh, especially, you know, this big shoulder pad. You have a rotation underneath the arm, uh, while underneath the shoulder, you have your elbow bend, more than 90, not bad and the hands do rotate. It's kind of rare these days. 
And then you have your merry-go-round. Oh, that's a tight one too. Not bad. And you do have, well, you can't really punch, but you could. Can you get, ah, oh, you can't. Nope. She's not doing it. Not flexible enough. You'd have to rotate the legs in different position to be able to do the Johnny Cage. So no Johnny Cage. You have your kick forward, knee bend, kick back if you bend the knee. And you have, well, the ankle tilt because of this. So yeah, not much on articulation, but she is good looking. We usually I'm able to edit most of this stuff out, but sorry, uh, this is some of this stuff has to stay in. Cause yeah, my kid uh, had to tell me that they were leaving. Sir, ride along regs. I'm with you. All right, so we're done with articulation. She looks good. I like the face sculpt of this figure. It's very representative. Um, so I'm satisfied with her. I think this is a good uh, mold. But now we're gonna transform her and uh, show you the uh, alt mode and because I'm a sadist, uh, I'm gonna try to do it. Uh... No, I'm not gonna do it on camera. You have law enforcement written all over you. And we're back. And I don't know why, but I felt that this was harder than Elito one. And of course I can't compare with anything because right now I have uh, everything in storage still because the stupid company that my insurance chose to do the work in my house is not coming over anytime soon because they suck. All right, um, she is a good representation of the alt mode. So, what'd you choose? For the size, uh, the, the retooling that they did, they did a good job. This Evil Fusion stuff, it doesn't even peg properly. So that's a miss, complete miss from Asbro. Should have done something else. And of course, the goofy feet at the end, it's, it's terrible. This looks terrible. But from the front, looks amazing. I really dig the kind of clear black plastic, uh, the uh, gyros are pretty cool. You have the window in the back. Nice details here on the side. Looks good. The wheels, they're both the same uh, style, so the same type of peg, so that's cool. And this one is a, the back wheels are a little bigger. That's pretty cool. And everything, there's a gap here, so you could, you know, if you really wanted, you could, sh you know, shove something in there and you can see some robot parts, but it's not too bad when you look at it this way. Uh, I like the deco. Uh, you can plug the gun somewhere else, you know, you can have it here if you want. And this holds properly, but it kind of looks goofy, of course. Uh, but the nice color scheme, the white, the blue. Uh, Toy Hacks might do something about this. Uh, it might be interesting to have some, you know, police tags and stuff like that on it. Uh, even though she didn't have it in the show. Uh, no, I like this. I like the grill, the gun metal on the, the, with the black looks really good. The black bumper. Uh, you know, those headlights could use some details. No, but you know, from underneath. Yeah. So there you go. All right, just a quick review, guys. I'm not gonna spend too much time on her, uh, but she's really good looking. Oh, wait, there is something I can show. If you have Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, she's just a tad too large at the back end here to roll on him. So that's too bad, but and she's a bit large, so the wheels don't really f fit well on the top. But, you know, still looks good. And of course, you could fit it inside, even though she doesn't roll in. But she's just a tad too large to fit properly. But, like, I mean, it, you know, she's not stable. She, she, if you move it around, she falls off. And But overall, See what I mean? Ah, there you go. There you go. Looks good. And I love this Ultra Magnus. Absolutely one of my top of 2023. All right, let's take him off. Ow. Yeah, that happens all the time. Well, there you go. That's gonna be the end of the review. Uh, I just wanted to shoot this quickly because I had nothing planned for tonight. 
And I don't have any new figures, so I really don't know what I'm gonna review for the next uh, couple uh, weeks. So I might focus on voice actors for, uh, for a while, so there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.